I've had a lot of comments on my cheap hot tent stove video telling me that I'm gonna die if I use it inside a tent. So, I thought I'd come out, make a video, and hopefully prove them wrong. <laughs> Fendi's been chasing squirrels already. It's only one of the things that she does like to chase. And I think it's because she knows she can't catch them because they just fly up trees and then uh, just laugh at her once they're up there. <laughs> but I need to find a nice secluded spot because there's quite a lot of dog walkers in this bit of woodland. It's quite big like, but I need to find somewhere out of the way where I can pitch up. This looks like a good spot as any. Got a nice little waterfall down here. Nice flat patch of grass. It's away from the trails and stuff, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna sit here for a while, maybe have a slurp, and then uh, see if anyone walks past. change of plan it's too boggy down here I thought it'd be all right but I'm gonna have to go back up top and see if I can find somewhere up there Ooh, got some essentials in here I've got a dirt cheap hot tent stove as well from a company called MCTO. Reminds me of a video that me kids used to play all the time. Proper annoying. But this only cost me, I think it was 70 quid when I bought it. So let's hope it's good enough. That's it, just four pegs, one pole at middle, that's it done. And then we've just got a, a 3F UL gear bathtub floor that comes up probably about three inch. And it fits just perfect in here. Let's put my gloves on so I don't get covered in soot. I've got some old bits of posts that I brought from home just to get us going because it's been lashing it down for the past few days. Well, as you'll have seen from my videos, it's always lashing it down, isn't it? <laughs> so I wanted to get it started with these and then uh, I'll go collect some logs. Come on, get in. There we go. Got stew for tonight, look. Brought it in me uh, in me billy can. This one is from Fire Maple, and I put it in that Tesco's bag, that freezer bag, because it's obviously not watertight in this, and oh, it's all falling to bits. <laughs> and I've got everything in there already because I couldn't be bothered to chop it all up and stuff, but I might do some cooking videos out in woods. 
but I didn't have a lot of time today because I've got work I've just come on from work and then come straight out but this is the fire maple billy can handles there it's got a bit of a spout there and then it's got lockable lid on it and what you do look you just push these little clips here and that's it don't look great appetizing at the moment but we'll get a beer in there and I'll get that on now and then that can be cooking for later get them locked on like that and we'll stick him up there look oh forgot to mention I brought this out with me just in case carbon monoxide detector so at least we know it works now it's time to be stealthy <laughs> there we go there's the boudoir for the night it's a bit of a continuation from my last two videos about this sleep pad and I'll let you know in the morning <laughs> if it's any good or not <laughs> hopefully anyway Right, I need to go find some logs. Ah, silky. Gone boy. <laughs> right, supper's on. Fire's roaring. Bed set up. Wood's cut. So, only time for one thing, isn't it? Cheers. Mmm. Ooh, that's a little bit fruity, is that? Have you seen the uh, Instagram profile called Clickbait Camper? What he does is put memes up about all those wild campers and stuff and they're absolutely funny as fuck. You should go check them out. I've been done a couple of times. There's a few big names been done as well. Paul Messner, uh, Summit of Nothing. Daily's been done as well, Daily Outdoors. So you should definitely go check him out. I'll link it down in the description so you can go have a look. Speaking of other creators there were a really inspirational quote that i saw the other day on youtube um by a guy called matthew silver i'll show it you now what do you think the meaning of life is to live and to live in a mystery and to find purpose and to live in the now magic Now! <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? One good thing about a hot tent is you can hang your stuff up to dry. I got a bit sweaty bet when I was chopping some wood up. Look. Woo! <laughs> so I've hung my t-shirt up to dry. And it dries in no time. This is the life in it, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> life in it, mate. You like it in here, don't you? Oh, it's nice and warm. Smells of stew. Gorgeous. There's not even a little bit of breeze, so might even sleep with it open tonight. Oh mind you, can't test if it's gonna kill me then, can I? <laughs> when I got here, I wanted to pitch underneath this tree here, but they were a big widow maker hanging from it and I tried knocking it down but that didn't help. that didn't work are you waiting for some stew that's what you can smell isn't it uh, she's been having a nose by that all night <laughs> yeah so like I said this is like a continuation of my last two camps of trying out this double wide big Agnes sleeping pad because I haven't been able to uh, tell you, have I? On my first one, on my first night that I had, that I went out in it, um, I forgot to take batteries out because I just got it. I just wanted to rush out, so I just packed a sandwich. Didn't pack any out to make a brew or out like that. Threw every threw everything in my bag and then just popped off. And I forgot to take batteries with me for GoPro. And because I was doing a couple of time lapses and stuff like that, I ran out of battery. <laughs> so couldn't tell you in the morning and then my next camp was kinder scout with ben 
and uh, that was a real train wreck of a camp was that eight hours I had a tent just flapping in my face like that and while I don't mind uh, the odd flap in my face every now and again <laughs> that eight hours is enough I think so if you haven't seen that video then go check it out I'll, I'll link it in uh, in description anyway So I just want to answer some of your questions that I've had in the comments from that Kinder Scout camp anyway. People asking me, did we not look at the forecast? I said, yeah, we did, but the wind was coming from behind us and that's why we dropped down the side of the mountain and then camped on a little like plinth area there, on a nice flat area. And what you can tell from the video is there were absolutely zero wind absolutely zero when we pitched up and uh, I wasn't even going to put my guy lines out because it were that calm and then obviously later on I think it was about half seven it started the wind just come out of nowhere and it were hitting my tent side on and the main problem was the ground was pretty soft it was just like a marshmallow and uh, my eight inch pegs you know, they just kept on popping out, especially at the door area. They just kept on popping out. And I had to keep going out and sorting them. Try to find some stones and stuff, couldn't find them. That were just, I were just in and out of the tent like a yo-yo. While Ben were nice and snug in his. <laughs> but I think, if I'd have known which way the wind were going to come at us, if I'd have pitched it arse end into winds, that tent would have stood alright. And all there is is a couple of bent poles, didn't it? Snap her off, but... Still, I think for the size of the tent and with it getting smashed side on, I think it did pretty well. And just for context for how bad the wind was, I put my bag outside as I was packing up my tent and it weighed 14 kilos without the tent on it and it was rolling. The wind was making it roll on its side. It was actually just rolling. I had to run and grab hold of it and then peg it down. That's how, that's how bad the wind were. Hey, up, look, big heads come. She knows that I'm talking to you, so she's come and get in way of us, look. <laughs> and yeah, a little jealous ass. Oh, I might have to have a look at my stew in a minute and see if that's uh, nearly done. It's been on for a good couple of hours and it's rocking a little bit on top of there. <laughs> Can't wait any longer, I'm starving. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> Looks like a dinner from back in World War, doesn't it? World War II. <laughs> it's like something grandma would feed you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, look, here's your Sunday dinner. And if the video ends here, that means I haven't woke up. I shouldn't really joke about that, should I? But I'll let you know how we get on. I've got my carbon monoxide thing in my jiggy alarm, so should be all right, shouldn't I? And I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning. So, last night, it was absolutely scorchio in here. Scorchio! 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 I got up to go to the toilet about three o'clock <laughs> and it was freezing outside. And then I came back in here and it was absolutely <laughs> lovely. And the fire was just 
dying down and I thought I may as well just let it die out now because I want it to be cool for when I wake up and uh, the temperature up really dropped in here then once that had gone out but this double wide big Agnes sleeping pad it's comfy it's really comfy and it's warm as well I didn't feel any cold through the ground or all like that even though I think it got down to about four degrees last night but my problem is with my pillows I need to find a decent pillow I tried with double bubble double pillows again got that one and this one underneath and they kept sliding about everywhere so I'll put this it's a bit of the uh, light AF mat put that underneath and that stopped it slipping about but then the other one kept on moving about on top of it so I had to get rid of it because that was doing me head in I think I'm going to raffle the hot tent and the stove off I'll probably put a, win a full winter kit together to go with it um, backpack I might even have an Osprey backpack that can go with it so I'll do a, a video on that and tell you how, how you can enter on stuff on that but for now I need to go home get ready for work and then maybe blow my nose and get rid of all these spiders that have climbed up inside my throat <laughs> if you like the video give us a thumbs up won't you anyway thanks for watching